So when we think of parts of South Carolina that are struggling, Allendale, South Carolina is a municipality that comes to mind, folks. This is a town of about 2,700 people, located in one of the poorest counties in the Palmetto State. Its population has shrunk by 20% over the last decade. It's a community in decline. Of the folks that are still there, about 38% are below the poverty line. Uh, the schools have been repeatedly taken over by the State Department of Education. The State Law Enforcement Division is having to provide significant assistance to perform basic law enforcement functions. It's just a total disaster. And if you want to know why, we have a clip that I think might be instructive. This is an excerpt from the most recent Allendale Town Council meeting. Let's take a look. Mr. Carter, are you going to continue with the meeting or should we leave? That's your call. Are you going to continue with this meeting? I don't do it. I mean, y'all gonna keep telling me what to do and how to do it and when to do it? I'll proceed. I'll proceed. I'm trying to keep telling you what to do. Um, I would like to make a motion that we remove Mayor Cohen as the as the presider for the continuation of this meeting. Okay. <laughs> Who is that motion going to? Who's going to carry that? Pro tem, Mayor Pro tem. The uh, parliamentary just said we can make a parliamentary so we can make a motion. We need to move along. You shut up. You shut up. Oh. Oh. And oh. you can bang all you want to, but again, you shut up. Stop. Stop. I am yeah. sick of you. So you are coming in this All right, so that's Mayor James Cohen with the gavel and Councilwoman Hattie Jackson being removed from the building. Now, what were they fighting about? I honestly don't know, and it's Allendale, South Carolina, so really, who cares, right? But, folks, if this is the quality of local governance, I would look for that next census to show a similarly steep decline in population as well as probably a corresponding rise in the poverty level of those of left behind. And sadly, this is far too common in small governments, municipalities, county level governments across South Carolina. You get the leadership you elect, people. You get the leadership you elect.